So welcome. Good evening, everyone. We are so excited because it's Thursday night and it's Get Organized with Dr. Pat Manning. And she's here to give us tips, tricks, and more. And tonight's theme is closets. So everyone is in for a treat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's in your closet? All right. So here we go. Take it away, Pat. Okay. Well, I'm hoping to cover two different things tonight. And one is organizing your closet. And the other thing is um, changing over from one season to the next because it's kind of like that time of year. Um, so uh, for a lot of us, and including myself at many times during the year, um, our closets are just a disorganized mess. <laughs> so we're going to try to work on that. Um, and uh, I don't know if you are familiar with the Pareto Principle. Um, but the Pareto principle is basically can apply to a lot of things that 80% of the things are used only 20% of the time, you know, or, or the things that we use 80% of the time are only 20% of what we own. Um, so um, it applies to so many things in life and one of the things is, is really your closet. Like you probably with 20% of your clothes, 80% of the time. I know that's true for me. Now, of course, part of what you have is evening gowns or, you know, suits or whatever that you're not, you're not going to wear, but, um, uh, but it's, it's true that, so we have to look at this stuff <laughs> because um, very often we need to know what's, what's in our closet and do you still love it? Like, do you love it? And um, you know, like sometimes we, you know, we put a lot of money into something about you, but I found myself standing in front of the closet, especially when I was working what am I going to wear to work? To, what am I going to wear today? You know, like, and you know, you might try something on, put it back. Now the clock is ticking on, you know, and you have to get out of the house. So it really does help to have, you know, an organized closet. Um, and I'm hoping to provide some ideas today. Um, if you have a whole day or several days um, to deal with this stuff, um, there are things that, um, you know, I, I've read a lot of stuff trying to prepare for tonight and it's so much of it is like laughable um <laughs> really because it's like empty your closet okay now you can imagine just think about putting all your clothes like on your bed or someplace right you know and um clean out everything paint it wallpaper it i've seen suggestions to wallpaper your closet um and you know before you start putting stuff back so it's not so much big on organizing unless they're trying to sell you something and you know you can get like california closets to come in or or um alpha from container store or transform or any of these places and if you get, have money go for it but even if you have one of those places you really have to figure out before they come what you're going to do like what um what you are uh going to what do you need what kind of space do you need? How much of this do you have? How much of that do you need, have? And how um, how much space do you want to devote for some, to something? So um, anyway, if you don't have all day or all week or all month to get your closet in or, organizing, my thought is it because you can do this in stages if you have to. Look at your hanging racks, go, go garment by garment and decide, do you need it? Don't you need it? What's gonna, what are you gonna do with it? And you need to have a pile of like, you know, giveaway, which could be donating to a friend who's, you know, maybe thinner than you and you, you know, like not wearing these clothes anymore because they're too tight or, um, or, or donate like someplace like Goodwill or someplace. Um, and there may be some things just to toss um, and, and then a pile for what's going back in the closet. So, um, you know, you go through hanger by hanger, and you you make you, these decisions. Now, if you have to stop and you're doing it hanger by hanger, you only have to deal with what you have like on your bed or wherever you put this stuff. Um, and you know you know what's going back in, you know what you're gonna get rid of and well, and you can deal with it that way in manageable chunks, okay? Um, I would suggest not letting it go like a week or a month in between before you're back to 
looking at hanger by hanger, but you just make a, a um, you just put a bl uh, an empty hanger in between what you did and what you didn't do, or you put a ribbon on the, you know, the next one you have to start with or whatever works for you. Mm -hmm. But you can do that then in, in a little bit at a time. Um, after you go through the hanging clothes, check out the um, shelves. I don't know, most of us only have one shelf in our closet. I'm fortunate I have two. I'll talk about my closet in a little bit. Um, but, you know, do you have boxes? How much stuff in your closet are not clothes? And if you can find, if you can go through that and find stuff that, if you find stuff that's that not clothes, see if you can find a place to put that stuff other than your clothes closet. Because your clothes, if, to the extent that you can do it, and not everybody can do it, um, you know, it's good to have, you know, just clothes in your clothes closet. Um, uh, let's see, what was it? Oh, yeah. And then, um, you know, as, you, as you're looking through the clothes, um, you want to know like what's too big, what's too small. Are you going to gain 10 pounds? You're going to lose 10 pounds? Are you really going to fit in these clothes? Or should you just say sayonara to the, to the clothes? Um, I know I had a hard time. I lost some weight. And I always kept thinking, well, what if I gain that weight back? You know, should I get rid of these pants? Not get rid of these pants? And you know, I'm finally just to say, okay, they're going, which I'm very grateful for. Um, and um, is it is it appropriate to the season? Because that's one of the things we're going to talk about soon. Is like how to get, you know, like what to do with stuff that doesn't belong to that season. What you want to be able to do is go to your closet and find stuff you can wear. So, you know, anything that doesn't go, uh, that you can't wear really right now because, you know, it's a Parker and, um, you know, it's not Parker weather yet. Um, you have to find, you, well, you should try to find another place for it, if you can. Um, is it appropriate to your lifestyle? Like for a lot of us, we're now retired. <laughs> we're not going to work every day. There's a whole bunch of stuff that I had that it was hard to get rid of. I put a lot of money to those clothes, you know, um, but, I, you know, like you get to say, am I going to wear this again? And quite honestly, no, I'm not going to wear this again. I need some dressy things. I don't need, you know, a lot of business type stuff. So, um, you know, that's the kind of thing that, um, you know, you have to be honest with yourself. Um, I'm not saying get rid of it all in one shot, but this is the kind of thing where, you know, if you do this once a year, if you do this every season when you're changing clothes, that, it, it, you know, you can actually wheedle down that wardrobe a little bit. Um, okay. Um, you want stuff that's going to make you look good and feel good. So um, that's where you need to, to, uh, uh, to th focus on. Um, all right. If you have stuff, um, you may not be wearing something, you go to reach for it and, and it's like, well, you know, it really doesn't look fresh or, oh, I never, I have to fix that seam or something like that take care of that stuff, put the stuff in the wash if it needs to be in the wash, you know, put it either in a, in a bag to take to the tailors or, you know, where someplace where you're going to actually fix that seam or put that hem up or whatever it is. Don't have stuff in your closet that you can't wear because it, you know, it slows down the whole process of getting dressed in the morning. Um, all right. You know, ask yourself, should it go back in the closet? You see a jacket, it's really expensive. It was really expensive. I put a lot of money into this jacket. I don't really, you know, the color isn't really great for me. I really don't like whatever, whatever it is. If you're not, gonna, if you're really honest with yourself and you're not going to wear it, give it away to somebody you know or donate it because, um, you know, it's just dragging you down. And every time you look at it, you think, oh, I spent so much on that jacket. I should be able to wear it. So, you know, like that's, that's the kind of thing that, you know, be honest with yourself in this process. Um, so, I mean, this takes a while. And once you've done that, because that's the first step, if you're going to organize your closet, you got to get rid of stuff. I have to be honest, because every, all of us have stuff in our closets that has to go. All right. Once you do that, then you have to start talking about actually how you're going to organize the closet. And a lot of, really more than I cared I would admit to. A lot of organizers will say, organize things by color. I, that's hard, I don't know. I don't see that as a, um, a viable thing. Um, you know, if I put all my Navy stuff together, you know, but then like, you know, 
everything I have that's like gray is pants or you know, whatever. I think it's better to organize by type. That's my personal opinion. If you prefer to organize by color, go for it. But even if you organize by color, you're really going to wear the red pants with the red shirt or, you know, it, it's, you know, you don't necessarily have to do that. Um, so I would say organize by, you know, like my closet, for example, and I have, I, I'll talk to you about my closet. My closet is a nice closet. When we um, bought this house 33 years ago, I thought I died and went to heaven because I have a walk-in closet. There's two, like on each side, there's like probably like, it's probably like six feet deep and there's a rod on each side and above each rod are two shelves. So it's like, it's really, I can't ever complain about my closet. Um, and where was I going to go with this? Oh yeah. So I have like, I have hangings. Uh, I hang my cardigans. I know you're not supposed to hang cardigans. Don't tell me that. I know that. Um, but it's easier for me. So I hang the cardigans and then I have, you know, like knit tops and blouses. And um, then I have um, uh, dresses, I guess. Is it. And then on the other side, I have uh, a couple of garment bags for dressier stuff that's out of season. Things that'll come back from the cleaners, for example, I'll put in the, these garment bags um, or evening clothes, which how often do I wear evening clothes? Not too often, um, you know, thing, things like that. Um, and, uh, and then I have a hanging bag, which we'll talk about some of these things later, where it's got shelves, like it, it's a hanging thing with shelves in it. So that's good for like sweaters um, or sometimes like these, I said, my V-neck shirts and the, and the turtlenecks go in there. Um, and then pants. Um, one of the advantages of hanging your clothes by type is if you put your shorter clothes together, like blouses, tops, skirts, whatever, then underneath you have room for either a second rod or one of these things that hangs from your closet rod and has a rod underneath. So you have a second rod under that without actually installing anything. And it's also, it's also not the whole length of your closet, which is helpful sometimes too. Um, or I have um, a trouser trolley. I don't know if any of you know what that is. I didn't until I got one, um, which I inherited from my husband's aunt. And it's um, basically a rolling rack. Most of them that I've looked at online, mine happens to be wood. I've noticed, I've, I've looked online to see before I spoke with you tonight. And most of them are, are metal, they're wire. Um, but you hang your they, they have, um, it's a rolling rack that has rods that remove, that come out and you hang your, your trousers on them and put them back on the rack. So it's good because I think a lot of the problems with having two rows of clothing is that it's hard to see the bottom row when you have clothes on the top. This way you can roll it out, get, your, get whatever trousers you want and put the, or jeans, and put the rack back underneath your other clothes. So that's that's one advantage, either whether you have a second rack or whether you have one of these trouser trolleys or something like that. Um, it's um, it's helpful to hang your, you know, all your short garments together to give you that extra room. Um, um, organizing gadgets. Uh, there's an awful lot out there. Um, and if you start out by going to the container store, you'll pick up everything. <laughs> but it's better if you've looked at your clothing and you know what it is you need to organize and how much space you have. Because some things will take up an inordinate amount of space depending on what you need it for. So um, my suggestion is to, um, you know, kind of like really look at your needs. Is it like the pocketbooks that are taking you all over the place? Or is it, um, you know, is it shoes? Uh, what is it that you need? And then buy the stuff that you need because there are some really clever things out there. Um, but buy what you need for the space that you have and for the, and for the clothing that you have that you need to, to organize. Um, I have seen, <laughs> I'll tell you, re reading this stuff is a laughable, not only the wallpaper thing about wallpaper in the inside of your closet, which I really can't understand at all, um, but um, 
they also have things like, you know, put a dresser in your closet. Like, I think I have a pretty big closet, but I can't fit any dresser in my closet. That's not happening. Or um, what were some of the other things that they said? Uh, oh yeah, take use the wall space in your closet to um, hang up your pocketbooks and your jewelry. And I don't know about any of you, but um, do you have enough space for your pocketbooks and your jewelry? But I don't think that's happening. Um, anyway, that's uh, so that's you know you have to be reasonable here. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. Um, one of the things. Some of the things that they have nowadays, and I brought some to show. Um, for instance, something like this. I don't know if you can tell, it's got hooks on it. It hangs on a closet rod and it holds belts. And it might help hold other stuff too, but it's really designed for belts. And um, I find this, um, I use this in my closet. I find it very practical because you first of all, you can lift it out if you need to. Um, and uh, most of my wall space in the closet is hidden by my clothes, so it's not really so accessible. Um, so that's good. And this is for scarves. You just put your scarves through here and hang them again on the closet. Okay. So there are, you know, there are things like that that you can get. Um, and uh, I find that, you know, like that, that really um, is, is kind of practical, but it's something that I need. It's not something that somebody else needs. Um, you know, if you have two belts, you don't need a belt rack. You can put it on a, like a hook on, you know, on the other door or something. Um, I wrote a list and I'm going to refer to my list of some of the things that you can get. Shelf dividers. Bins um, to put, you know, um, bulkier things in. Um, and they're easy then to lift off the shelf and you can go through them, find what you want. Um, uh, one of the things I put on the list was a folding step stool. Because if your shelves are high or your shelf or your shelves, if they're high, especially if you have like two racks, so, you know, if you have, if you have um, a, two rows of, of, of closet rods, um, your shelf is probably pretty high. And, um, you know, having a folding, um, a folding step stool in your closet so you can just whip it out and get what you need without killing yourself, um, you know, can be very helpful. Also, like in my house, for example, that's the, that's the step stool on the second floor. So, you know, like if you need some other case, uh, some other um, uh, use, it's, it's there and you can, you can, you know, access it. Um, hanging shelves. I think I talked about before um, they hook onto the closet rod and then it's like maybe four or five shelves that you can put, you know, shirts or, or um, sweatpants or, or sweaters or whatever on. Um, and that, um, that's, you know, stuff that would take up a lot of space in a dresser drawer that you don't necessarily want in a dresser drawer. Um, shoe racks. Now, shoe racks and shoe boxes. Um, shoe racks are good for the floor of your closet, um, you know, because, first of all, it eliminates those piles of shoes uh, that some of us have sometimes. Um, and, um, and you can easily see what you have. And the shoes are then together usually, because if you take two shoes off and you put them back on the rack, they're, they're together rather than in some kind of a pile. Um, I tend to switch out for seasons, even my shoes, because, well, for instance, now all the sandals I have in bo shoe boxes up on the shelf of my closet. Um, and on the higher shelf, actually, because I'm not going to access them until next May or whatever. Um, and then I take out other shoes. Very, certainly, there are shoes that I wear all year long. But then I take out shoes like that are, um, I have suede, some suede shoes. I'm not wearing them in the summer. So I take those out now, you know, for, um, uh, to, to put on the shoe rack and have accessible. Um, okay. Uh, then I showed you the organizers that some of the organizers that hang on the rod, like the scarf holder and the belt holders. There are other things too. One of the things they had were like pocketbook holders, like a hook for your pocketbooks. And I said to myself, who has that kind of space on your hanging rods to put pocketbooks? But if you do, it's probably a good way to store them. But I don't have that kind of space. Um, uh, I use, I just put them on, on a shelf in the closet. Um, and then, uh, let's see, um, you know, over the door hooks. Um, uh, also, a lot of these organizers are good if you can't put hooks on in your closet. If you can't, if you can't drill into the walls, like if you live in an apartment and that's, that's not going to work. 
um, over uh, an over the door hook. Um, if you don't want to put a hook on the inside of each closet door, because I think that that's um, a hook on the inside of the closet door is a great place for um, choosing your outfit the night before you need it and hanging it up there uh, so that when morning comes, you just, you know, like it's not, you don't have to think until you, you know, like, like before you've had your coffee, you can just pick out your outfit and put it on. Um, and um, let's see what I mean. Okay. The, you know, a belt ring, a belt ring is some hangs over the, the rod. It's not like the belt. I like the belt, uh, the belt holder that I showed you because it has individual uh, hooks for each belt. A belt ring is just a big ring, which um, you, you know, is, is um, like overlaps in one place and you can put belts on it. The only thing is you, you know, you really have to move the belts around the rack to find the one that you want and pull it off. I just think it's, you know, it's easier to do, um, to have um, a rack where you have individual um, hooks on it. Um, the closet rod expanders, I think we talked about, which are, they hang from the closet rod and basically it's another rod under your shorter clothes. So it's a, a rod for other shorter clothes. If you have enough space on a typical rod, at least in my closet, it's not high enough really where you could, do that um but if you do have enough if, you, if your rod is high enough that's that's a good choice um they uh they have um i said hooks for your handbag um a wireless led light now a lot of us have lights in the closet if you don't have a light in the closet sometimes it's really hard to find what you're looking for or you know to really see um and um i thought this was like genius which i wouldn't have thought of anyway there's led lights that have um Remote control, believe it or not. So I guess you could put it up pretty high, and um, you know you have a remote a remote that you can turn your light on with. Um, and then um, they ha also have hooks. If you do go the route of um, installing two rods, this is probably if you have a, a um, if you have somebody do your closets over, and you know these big professional jobs, and you have. Um, you know, a, one high rack with clothes and then one lower rack with clothes. Um, there's a, a kind of a hook that you can get. You've probably seen them in some of these, in, in, in some retail stores, where you can unhook the hanger um, and bring it down to you or put clothes up by, you know, using the hook to then hang your, you know, your shirt, whatever, on on the top rack. Um, and, and, I, you know, I don't know. If you have a dresser, I don't know if you need this, but, um, or... I mean, I like the idea of the shelf dividers that keep things straight, but if you wanted to put sh um, uh, uh, shirts or whatever, they have drawers that stack um, and you can put in the closet and, and get at your clothes that way. Um, and then, um, uh, oh, and the, and the trouser trolley that I talked about, which is a rolling rack comes out from under your clothes, under the, if you, you can put it under your short clothes and it, it comes out, the whole rack rolls out which makes it easier to find things because some of the problems with having two rows, two racks, two rods with your clothes is that uh, the things that are on the bottom are hard to see. So um, any question about these things? <laughs> there, yeah, you might be unmuted now uh, or some of you, anyway, one at a time, maybe, I don't know. But if, um, if anybody has any, any questions um, or they, you know, they have a problem that maybe the rest of the group can help with too, um, you know, that would be, you know, um, would be helpful. So um, anybody? In the chat, we have um, Gina wrote in her closet, it gets very dusty. So oh. do you have any tips? Because her mm -hmm. handbags are on the top shelf, but when you bring them down, then the whole nice pile of dust comes down, I'm guessing, right, Gina? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's, I mean, you know, it's, that's... It's in an apartment building, there's a lot of dust. I didn't uh -huh, find that yeah. when I was living at my mom's, you know, I mean, you could get some dust, but that's why you close your shoes in a box or put them in plastic, you know, everything yeah. has to be put in plastic so it doesn't, the shoulders don't get dusty. My mother used to sew these she was able to sew uh made these things to put over the shoulders you know in yeah. you know her dresses her blouses and things that sweaters that you put in the closet so everything gets right. dusty in the yeah. closet just sneaks in yeah I, I, 
I know what you're well, talking about. I'm not sure. <clears throat> See, I don't know what the solution would be. At first, I was thinking you were just talking about, like, you know, what's up on the shelves and stuff. And then I would just suggest, you know, like, actually um, everything's you know, in plastic putting it on your on the calendar shelf. every month or something. Excuse me, what did you say? Everything is in a plastic bag on the shelf, not, you know, like a, an right. extra comforter, p- pillows, extra, you know, caftans. My handbag, sure. a few handbags that I still have left because I don't need a lot of handbags. Those are in a no, me neither, plastic yeah. bag. Yeah. Uh, the thing is, like, you know, but even even with the stuff in the plastic bag, you might want to actually go up with a duster or something every like um you know once a month yeah. or something just so that because then when you because sometimes when you take it down then you'll get dust on your clothes but as far as the clothes themselves hanging yeah uh, gee um i don't yeah. know i don't really i don't really have an idea for that um, um keep the closets closed uh, yeah. my i have sliding glass doors and they just the the, the, the dust just sneaks in yeah yeah, uh, I don't know if there's any. Does anybody else in the group have an idea about this? I have those travel things that you put suits in, like in the dry cleaner, or like when you're a bride's uh, maid or a groomsman, they give it to you with that. Yeah, yeah, a garment, a garment bag. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Um, yeah. yeah. Well, the thing is, that's another thing, and I, and actually, that they have big, bigger garment bags. Like I, like I think I said earlier, and I don't know who who heard what. But um, I have garment bags for my out of some out of season, like dressier things and from evening gowns and things like that. You know, not that I have that many. Um, and, uh, you know, they're larger. They're maybe like, you know, uh, 18 inches or 24 inches like well, wide. Um, and that actually isn't that hard to take clothes in and out of. So some of those might help you, especially if, if you have something that's kind of expensive or not washable or whatever. Um, you might want to put them in that thing. Um, it's it's a pain in, well, some of them are, you, you can get them with plastic fronts so that you can see what's in there. Um, I stopped using those because I have a window in my closet and um, I found that uh, I had a silk suit that got all faded on one shoulder <laughs> because of the, the, the clear plastic. Um, but, um, you know, if you don't, if you don't have a, clo- if you don't have a window in your closet. Um, I used to pla- when I was married, have- yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you can get it with a you can get it with big, a plastic the big front. cedar closet. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you can get it. You can get this with a plastic front. Uh, some of these garment bags, and, or or and even all plastic, and then you can you could actually see them. And it's not so such a big deal to unzip the bag and take something out. Um, it's not it's not the most convenient, but if your clothes are getting dusty and they you know that well, that would be a real that's a real problem. It, I noticed it mostly after work was being done and, you know, <laughs> in the, in the apartment yeah. when things were being demolished. Well, you know, it, it's the kind of thing, even, even if you're not going to use it on a, um, a regular basis, you might want it for those things that are like, you know, dry clean only or, or, um, you know, or more expensive clothing. You might want to put in a, in, in a garment bag, but yeah, it's the only suggestion I've got. Really- I got to tell you. I really have thing. I really do have things that I should throw out that I wore to my brother's two weddings and my <laughs> uh, my my uh, college graduation a hundred years ago. Yeah, I still have that. <laughs> and my high school. We all have things like yeah. that. Things that have no. like a, a sentimental value. We're not getting rid yeah. of. Yeah. And I'm like, well, if I drop dead tomorrow, at least I'll have something to where they can squeeze me in. Okay, sorry, <laughs> I don't mean to be morbid, but. <laughs> otherwise it's the time always, of covid that's what it is I, I, i'm always taking the shoes out of the bottom and vacuuming because there's carpeting in there so i vacuum vacuum <coughs> yeah I can keep the shoes in a box anyway I yeah think. right there's an, another comment that someone chatted privately to me. How about using your clothing and making either a quilt or a pillow cover? And if you're not crafty yourself, then um, hiring someone to do that. Oh, good idea. Who, 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 somebody, somebody made that suggestion? Yeah, and then they, I think yeah. they flipped out. People are flipping out. I think the Zoom is very unstable tonight because two people said they can't yeah. get on. So anyway, well, people yeah. had trouble getting on, right? Yeah. All right. So, you know, yeah. it doesn't matter who it was, but that was a suggestion. Um, has anybody had any experience doing that or 
found it to be comforting because then you still have a little bit of it, but it's right. right. Oh, you mean for this? Yeah, for the sentimental clothes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you know, I mean, I think that's that's a good idea um, for some people. Um, I sew, but I still probably wouldn't do that. <laughs> but um, you know, you have your pictures, right? You have the pictures of the, you know, that when you wore this outfit or that outfit, the other outfit. Um, so. Um, do we have any other questions or comments or suggestions? Because I, you know, I really like to have suggestions from Got everybody. Uh, the, can, you, can you hear me? No. I think I can, I, I'm having a hard time. Somebody's breaking up. Oh, can I, is it my turn to speak? I don't know. Gloria, I, I just okay, thought. Gloria, I, under, I hear you, Gloria. That's good. Good. Um, you were going to talk, we, we started the subject of the fact that we're in COVID and many of us go uh -huh. nowhere. And I'm looking at the dresses in my closet, thinking about when is the last time I wore them. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I don't know if, how, how they look. I, don't, I mean, really, the truth is, you know, since March, I have not gone, I haven't gone to anywhere. Synagogue, I haven't gone to meetings. Uh, Everything is, is virtual. So, right. But the thing is, it doesn't mean that you're not going to wear those things again. In fact, that's one of the things that, you know, when I was thinking about this, and of course, I didn't do it this tonight. But one of the things I was going to say is like, you know, basically, it's like, when was the last time you wore that outfit? But the problem is, this year is a very exceptional year that but, we haven't worn the stuff. But it doesn't mean that, you know, but if you have the time, it's not a bad idea to try things on. I mean, like you might be holding things thinking, oh, I could wear this again. Um, you know, I loved it. But the thing is, if it doesn't fit you anymore, or if it just looks, I mean, I, at one point I had jackets, I had a lot of blazers um, and they were all longish because that was what was in style. And then all the jackets were like a lot shorter and I felt like they were big boxy dowdy. And I finally just said, okay, these have got to go. Um, you know, so sometimes it helps to actually put stuff on and say and, and try to be realistic. Am I going to wear this again or not? But but you can't really go by this year. Like I haven't worn it in a year. Well, because I mean, like especially now changing to summer things, the whole summer, most of us didn't go anyplace much. So, you know, you really can't, you know, base it on that. I haven't gone out to lunch since like March or something. I know. 14 pocketbooks. Yeah. What are they doing there? You know? We have the same one every day. It's fine now. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if I'm going to cost them all beautiful leather right, things, right. you know, if you get it on sale at Wooden Taylor and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? Yeah, but I wouldn't give, I mean, I, you know, I think, I think it, 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 ordinarily I would. Good. Every day is you, you should spoil yourself and use your good things. Don't wait for the yeah. special occasion. Use the things yeah. you love when you have time to use them. Don't just put them away right. and save them because then you'll miss the opportunity. So, you know, if it's a bag and it's a pretty bag and it's a pretty color, don't put it on the shelf and say, oh, it's so good. I'll save it for Sunday or whatever. You know, take it out and use it. Um, treat yourself yeah. to your beautiful things. Sorry, <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I, have I, I agree with that. But I know that in this time, especially when, you know, when uh, you're not going out, you're not going to do anything. I'm not wearing my dry cleanable clothes, you know, like, <laughs> or that, that sort of thing. Um, uh, but yeah, like, I think that that's not just for clothing, but for anything, you know, like people who save the good dishes until, you know, they, they, they're passed on to the kids who don't want them or something, you know, like it's, you know, yes, you should, you, you should use your things. Sounds familiar. Yeah. So, um, what, anybody what else with that, questions or suggestions? I don't think I, they can hear me. Can you hear me? Oh. Uh, yeah, I can hear. I don't know who it is. Yeah. Um, does anybody else have suggestions for pocketbooks? I um, I don't have a shelf big enough for all my pocketbooks, so uh, I decided to put them in uh, one of the tubs and then switch them summer and winter. Uh huh. That's a, uh -huh. that's not a bad idea. Because I mean, you're like you're not going to wear that white bag in December. So yeah. So that's exactly. a, that's a, that's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but other than other than that, you know, like pocketbooks take up a lot of space. Um, you right. might want to really be realistic about are you using all of them or not. 
like me, I tend to use two bags and it's, you know, it's becoming like, and I have others on the closet that I'm not really ready to get rid of yet, you know, but, um, uh, so I'm usually using the, you know, this one brown one, this one black one. And, um, and one thing that if you're storing pocketbooks, you should store them stuffed with paper, um, or something like stuffed with something so that they hold mm-hmm. their shape. You know, that's one thing that you really do to be careful with pocketbooks that they, um, you know, that they, that they, they're, they're stored so that they hold their shape. Right. Um, right. And, you know, if you have a lot of hanging space, um, then you can use the, um, you know, then you could, you could buy these pocketbook hooks and hang them in your pocketbook on your, on your rod. But most of us don't have that kind of space. But some of the pocketbooks are too big. <laughs> it's okay. Big. Right. Little ones. Mm-hmm. But yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, well, another thing that I've done is I've had, um, I bought shoe boxes for my out of season shoes, those clear boxes from, from, um, right, store. Right, yeah. and, um, and I've used that for, um, bags like, um, evening bags. Right. Yes. You know, yes, uh, yes. so I put like maybe two, two or three in, uh, in a box and that's, right. that was good. That's, right. you know, because that keeps them dust free and whatever, you know, yeah, um, I did that. you know, one thing I'm thinking about, and I did intend to talk about it tonight and I, I haven't. It's like once you decided what that you know when you, when you're going to put your clothes away, um, hopefully, like it would really be good to get the out of season things out of your closet if you can. Not everybody can do that. Like I put mine in rubber made tin, uh, rubber made bins, and they go to the attic. Right. Um, but I wanted to talk about some of the places that you could use. Um, and some of our um, some of my friends have empty nests, and um, they have extra closets. So their stuff is in, you know, the bedrooms that they're not using, <laughs> which is very handy. Right. Um, if you um, if you live in an apartment, you might have assigned uh, storage in the basement. You might be able to put a rubber made rubber made bins down there. Um, or if if you have a storage unit, now this is going to be another whole topic because this is like the you know the bane of everybody's existence of these storage units you're paying for every month. But if you have one because you have other stuff that you, for whatever reason, you need a storage bin, then a storage unit, then you might be able to put, you know, uh, a couple of boxes of clothing in your storage unit. Um, and then you have to be thinking about how to get rid of the storage unit eventually. Um, but um, uh, some of us can box up clothes and put them on the, the closet shelf. Um, not everybody has enough room to put their out of season clothes up there. Um, and, um, uh, you know, if, if if none of those things work, you might have to just designate like a part of the closet for out of season clothes, maybe a garment bag or something, or and and some dresser drawers to the things that you're you know that you're not wearing. Um, but it is a problem. Like it's it's wonderful to say you know change your closet over, but it's sometimes it's hard to find the space for the clothes that you're trying to get out of the closet. So anyhow, that's um, my words of wisdom there. Um, Anybody else have any? Yeah. It's Gloria. When you were gone for a little while, I was telling... <laughs> when I took my hiatus, yeah. I, I was telling all, all my friends here that uh, several years ago, my kids got a closet organizer lady who came here and she spent a few hours with me. And she, uh-huh. she insisted that I get rid of so much stuff that I could have all my season's clothes in the one closet. Uh, it is a walk-in, but I only, you know, have half because of my husband, you know. But <laughs> yeah. so she, she had this walk-in thing. And um, and then she started to tell me, like, you know, you could layer things just because they're sleeveless. Maybe it would match with this or that. So it was kind of a creative way. And, uh, you know. In other words, she put, she put out, out like, an outfit with three pieces is on one hanger. Is that what she was doing? No, but just instead of putting away all my sleeveless things or my summery kinds of things, uh huh. You know. Oh, I see. Like wear wear that T-shirt under a cardigan or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was pointing out how yeah. I could make use of what I had by layering. Uh huh. Yeah. So, you know, that was good because it got yeah. rid of yeah. stuff too. Yeah, well, that's, a, that's a, another thing when you talk about your husband sharing your closet. That's one thing. I have this wonderful closet, and it's mine, because at the other end of the room, John has two smaller closets himself, <laughs> and that's really, it's such a luxury. I couldn't tell you how, when I got this house, how I was like, oh, my goodness, look at the closet. So, 
Um, yeah, anybody else? That's a, that's a good idea, like to try to figure out what you could actually bring into another season, not have to put it away in the first place. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody else with a suggestion or a question? Someone private chatted me um, and they said that what happens if you find like something that you really love, like a clothing style or a type and you want to buy like five of it in all different colors. Do you recommend that or do you not recommend that? That's what I do. You know, people were joking when I got on tonight saying I was wearing my turtleneck. That's because I have, a, <laughs> I don't know how many turtlenecks. I have, I have at least a dozen turtlenecks in different colors. And I wear turtlenecks and jeans um, in the winter, um, usually with a fleece, quarter, a quarter zip fleece um, or a sweater. And then in the summer, I wear jeans <laughs> and, and a V-neck t-shirt. And um, I, I do have other things. I can change it out a little bit. But for my, my, for my daily, I'm not going anyplace or I'm not doing anything. That's what I wear. That's what I put on every morning. So, you know, um, if it looks good on you and you like it, um, they say that and, you know, actually there are people who say that that's a good thing to do. If you find something that you like and you're comfortable and, you know, you've been happy with it. I'm, I've done the same thing, buying two pair of the same shoes in different colors or something. Oh, these shoes are comfortable. OK, I'll buy another pair. Um, so, you know, I, yeah, I think it's I think it's a terrific idea. If you find something and it suits you, it's, it's yours. Your signature style. Anybody else there? Yeah, we're just listening. Uh, oh, okay. Most of us are muted. So are there any other questions, comments, any other closet things that you want to bring up? I found you it you mentioned the uh, uh, veterans. Uh, they do pick up now. I have a date for next week, and and we have three big black uh, uh, garbage bags filled with clothes that I went through the closet for. So I advise everybody to do it. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know that that's one thing about COVID. It was like you know with this time that we had on our hands. A lot of us went around in cold stuff, and uh, then there was no place to bring it. Exactly. Um, I know I still have, I still have some stuff in the basement that I was going to bring to Goodwill, and I do understand that Goodwill is open now too. So, um, I haven't been over there myself yet, but I'm getting there. So, but that's a good reminder that the, the veterans will pick stuff up too. So, um, I, you know, like. Um, as far as, um, I, I don't know, if, well, I probably should let people talk if they need to, if there's anything else they want to say or add or whatever. Or are we done? Because <laughs> one of the things I was going to talk about was um, uh, about next month. We have not picked a topic for next month. Usually I like to have it by now. Um, I've had several suggestions. Um, and I also, um, you can also put in the chat um, any suggestions that you have. Um, because we're always open. We may not get to it right away, but we'll get to it, you know, in the future. Um, and um, I will decide soon um, on a topic for next uh, month. And I will, uh, as soon as I know, I'll let you all know um, so that you can be thinking about it. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm, that's about all. We'll be on November 12th. We have decided on the date, November 12th. So. Well, we need to hear from everyone. What are your your organizational nemesis? You know, what's a nemesis for you? <laughs> what's a big black cloud? Yeah. What is bothering you a lot? Yeah, you can email us. You can you can email and you can like the response. The email that I sent you as a reminder. If if you um you know respond to that email, I will um I will get it. I will I will uh, pay attention to it and and log in any suggestions that we have. Um, or you can I, you, see they can put it in the chat now, right? Too, if they if they want to. The chat, yeah. or they could email me, which is the easiest email in the mm -hmm. world: z at ypl.yonkerspubliclibrary <laughs> so Whatever you know, whatever you want. If you want to mull it over, if you want to think about it, if you uh, want to do a quick Google search and see, you know what comes up. If you want to look at your mm -hmm. own, look around yourself and see. If <laughs> Yeah, look around your house and say, okay, this is it. This is what I want to do. Or your calendar or whatever, because we do talk about time management sometimes. Um, so, um, you know, whatever, uh, whatever works for you guys. 
Thanks, Pat. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry that this didn't work out so well tonight. Uh, from the very beginning, it was an issue. Um, but um, I'm Thank glad you. that you all stuck it out with me. Thank we you. Made it work. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. All right. So Thank until you. November 12th. Thank you. You're the good suggestion. Okay. Thank you all for coming. Thank you, Dr. Pat. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye, everyone. Figure bye out. Bye. A <laughs> bye. <laughs>